Now we're still working with the contact details of David Smith. We keyed him in earlier and what we're going to do now is we're going to look at adding notes to a contact and adding tasks and to-dos to a contact. So I want to add a note to the David Smith contact. I'm going to click notes right here in this little tab there. Then I'm going to click this button that says add a new note. Now when you're adding a note, the note can be anything and what we recommend and what we do at, at, our, at the Nolly team, at my team, is my processors and, and administration people add notes for things, triggers that they would like to remember whenever they talk to that contact again. So if the contact says his mom is ill, any, any kind of details that are pertinent, perhaps it's a buyer who doesn't like to view homes with dogs. I mean there's all kinds of information that you can put and you can keep adding these notes as um, as you get them. Um, so I just added that new note. Let me show you another place to add a note for David. Back to the contact details page. I can get, simply go down to notes and you see that I can expand that and see the notes that have been added and I can add a new note here. Okay, and that takes me right to the add note uh, feature. So I just added a, another note. These notes are time stamped and they're date stamped as well. Now let's look at adding tasks and to do's going to add a new task. Now this is the task details page and in the task details page it's just like almost any task detail page that you've seen um, whether it be iPhone or in another CRM very very simple and easy to use. So the from date is here you select when does the task start when does the task end. You can select a date when that task is automatically deleted from your CRM if you choose to. So right now we're going to say we've got a task that has to occur on June 20th. I want to assign that task to Carolyn so that when Carolyn logs in she will see that she has a task that needs to be done. And the task title I can uh, pull, do a pull down. By the way you can edit you can have editable task titles as many as you choose. We'll see more of this in action plans. I'll show you more about that in action plans. Action plans is actually a different feature but there are so many different types of tasks that you can save. For example, pick up sign and lockbox. Okay, so that that now has become a task that um, that we've we've added. Gotta click the add here. So there we go. So you can simply type in here, click the add, and you can add additional tasks that will uh, be part of your what we call your saved list of tasks. So now if I were to pull this down I would be able to see I would just be able to click there and change those or you can just simply key it in. If there's a description you can put additional details in the task description. And the task description may help you remember some uh, additional details that you may be apt to forget. Now the priority can be any uh, normal, important, or urgent, any, any one you choose. 
Uh, you can have a start time and an end time. It, it defaults. So if I go to 10 o'clock, it's going to default this one to an hour later. Is this an all-day event? Perhaps it's a convention. Then it will be listed on your calendar as an all-day event. Um, and maybe there is no end time to it. Uh, the type of task can be an appointment, uh, business, email, etc. So you decide what kind of task this is. In this case, it's a phone call. You can have a recurring task. Does it recur daily, weekly, monthly, etc.? Uh, you can also assign the task to a transaction. Now, there's a better place to assign tasks to transactions. So we're going to talk about that, this piece here, when we go into uh, the transaction manager and how all that works. But if you'd like to tie this task in with a transaction that you're working, you can do that as well. So now I'm just going to save that task. And now you see that I have a task here now for David. So if I go back to the contact details record, when I go down to the bottom of the page, it shows me uh, tasks. I've just got to open that up, and it'll show me any tasks that are currently um, upcoming for that individual. So that's adding tasks and to-dos and notes to a contact.